So to refresh these, these strategies, one, charge for different aspects of your coaching or expertise. Okay. Two, share what you know online, give away templates, create a course, do anything like that. It could be nutrition plans, how to get your first five clients, share something, you know, there's a gentleman I know he has something called the weekend woodworker. He just loves to make things in his garage. He has now made a multi-million dollar business off of those things. Three, group coaching. Get a bunch of people that are interested in the same things and want to grow. Coach them together. Charge for your time. Offer limited spots so you don't drive yourself insane and so that you still have a family. Four, make money by saving money. Look at your spending. Audit those habits. Audit all those things and get an idea of what your actual spending is. Make sure you're taking advantage of tax incentives and write-offs. Talk to a CPA. They will talk to you for free. They will talk to you for free initially. Talk to a CPA. There's thousands of dollars, maybe tens of thousands, you are wasting or just needlessly giving to the government on top of what you're already paying in taxes. Nobody's telling you to ditch your taxes. Strategy number five, do market research. Do surveys, studies for companies. Number six, create a challenge, a low-cost, low-barrier entry way for other people to engage with what you do well. Strategy seven, get rid of your stuff, sell it. Walk dogs, drop shipping, drive Uber, do DoorDash. If you are gonna say that none of these work for you and you're too busy, then you know I just wanna take a moment and say that guys, like you're essentially, and I'm using guys as an inclusive term, I know I should quit using that word, you are becoming one of those people that laments you just can't solve a problem or you can't see a, an opportunity. And if you're saying that, no matter how many options are presented to you, you, you can't figure out how to make anything work, you may need to question if you really want to become a coach or if you can call yourself a coach. And I know that sounds harsh and that makes some of you just want to get off and uh, like give this a bad review and hate on me. But like, I'm just trying to be real with you. If somebody that you know came up to you to try to help or you try to help somebody and they just said, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that. Like, it's not just them being negative. It's them almost kind of engaging in learned helplessness. So to wrap this up, and I'll give Allie the final word, if you still feel overwhelmed by this or want a bit of guidance, that is totally okay and expected. Just reach out to us, artofcoaching.com slash mentoring. We offer a free call. It's no brainer. We just want to get to know you, want to get an idea of what you'd like help with. And we would be happy to help or at least put you in touch with somebody in our extended network that would. Allie, take us home. No, I just think that this is, I was, I was really blind myself to so many of these things, uh, even before starting to do some quick research for this episode. Guys, a Google search, a quick Google search of, you know, ways that you can make more money, even as just like a, you know, on the side. There's so much information out there, but at the end of the day, they do take time, effort, and and um, some amount of even money down in investment. But at the end of the day, you just have to weigh, do you want to make more money? Do you actually want more time? Because some of these things are going to have to go or going to have to give. You're going to have to make a sacrifice somewhere. So really make a list, prioritize what's most important to you, and then make it happen. You know, I think it's important to even think about, you know, if you lost your job today, what's the first two or three things that you would go do to make some money. I mean, and that's kind of a no-brainer way to to think about where you could plug some holes right now, even financially. So just start thinking about these things. I think that there's no limit to what you can do uh, when you actually try. And we, like Brett said, would love to help you. Um, and I'm sure Google would love to help you as well. But, you know, <laughs> we're, we're going to be a little bit more in depth.